Hey guys, um, Shane Dawson is doing a, uh, like a school days, um, continual video thing, and, um, basically he, he tells you about each grade and he goes into detail about each grade, and I got to thinking, you know, not so much that I want to do this, uh, for my subscribers or, um, to copy Shane, but it would be neat to have this on record, uh, one day when I really don't remember this stuff. Um, which I'm sure what I do still remember will probably be remembered for a while. <laughs> um, so I'll just do as many as I can in one vlog because I don't know as much as he knows about his. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't remember. But um, kindergarten was kind of big because um, you know that was my first year going to school. That was my first year being away from my parents more than an hour. <laughs> so um, you know, I've never went to any kind of daycare prior to that. Um, so you know, it's kind of, it was kind of huge. Um, I don't remember much about kindergarten. Um, I think my teacher's name was Miss Chris. Chris or Chrissy. Um, I went to Old Fort Elementary, which is kind of, you know, I should know that. <laughs> um, and I had Miss Judy as an assistant teacher. Um, I actually still know Miss Judy. Uh, she still works at the school. <laughs> um... The only thing I really remember, like, as a big thing, um, I know I had a birthday party in kindergarten. My grandma or someone, someone brought me a cake. I can't remember. Um, and there was this girl. I think her name was Mary Rose. <laughs> and she chased me around the classroom trying to kiss me, and we both got time out. Um, <laughs> I was already running from girl. No, I'm kidding. Um, that was interesting. Um, very interesting. And that's really, I mean, you know... Not a lot. I don't remember a lot about kindergarten. Uh, even less do I remember about first grade. Um, I could not tell you the teacher's name. It was either first or second grade that I had Miss Green. And I can't remember the other teacher's name. I'm thinking first grade was Green. Um, and I honestly don't remember anything about her class. I think we ended up uh, just goofing off a lot in her class. <laughs> we made a lot of... Um, I know we had a pizza party once for something, and, uh, we used to bake cookies, that's all I remember, oh, um, yeah, Nate, Nathaniel was in her class, I remember Nathaniel, he didn't like me so well, he was a little bit different, he wasn't different special, he wasn't different retarded, he was just not from around here, <laughs> so he was different, and, um, I tried to be friends with him, but he was, he did not like me, um, and, and I, you know, as childish as it sounds, we used to play the quiet game, and uh, <laughs> if you made an ugly face, or a noise, or were goofing off, uh, the spotter would point at you and shake their head no, to say no, I'm not choosing you. And they would choose the quietest person, and that person would be the spotter. <laughs> he would constantly point at me and shake his head no, and I got so mad. <laughs> um... So that was that was uh, first grade. I don't really remember a lot about first grade. Um, second grade, I like I said, don't remember hardly anything. I can't even tell you the teacher's name. Um, I'm trying to remember the teachers in order. <laughs> I believe in third grade I had, um, yeah, in third grade I had Miss Googe, and I don't think she was there. But one year, I haven't seen her since. Um, and I actually got to move to a different hall because, um, you know, kindergarten was on the first hall along the office. Uh, but then you turn left and you go down straight toward the cafeteria. That's where my next two years were. But in third grade, I got on up, you go to the cafeteria, but then you turn right, uh, which was uh, near, up near Miss James's room and all that. Um, but Miss Googe, we had the uh, outdoor patio area classroom it was pretty nice not the classroom was not outside we had a door that went out of the classroom and we also had animals in the classroom i remember that we had i think turtles in a fish tank um in miss googe's class the only thing i really remember about miss googe's class is um she had us draw a picture with special crayons and um we ironed the crayons off onto uh, a pillow and we made a pillow out of it um, also, I remember testing. Testing was kind of weird. 
It just it was just stressful. So I remembered it. Nothing special about it. It was just something I remembered. Fifth grade was Mr. Barger, and that was my first man teacher. Um, I didn't like him because he was a man. I was used to having woman teachers. Um, the only thing really big that happened in his class that year was our room was infested with termites, and we ended up not having class one day. We ended up going to like the library and goofing off that entire day because the, the room was being fumigated. So it was kind of weird. Um, I, I don't remember much about uh, fourth grade. Uh, yeah, fourth grade. Um, let me check my minutes here. Okay, we got plenty of time. Fifth grade was Miss Page. Can I, is that her name? Miss Page. We're going to go with Miss Page. I didn't like her. Um, she was nice at first. She had this, um, parent face, and then she had no parent face. She had parent face where she was all nice and happy and, and perfect little Miss Thing. And then when parents went around, yeah. <laughs> She was evil. Um, and, and, I don't know. She was strict. I ended up failing her class. I failed the fifth grade uh, because of her. And I, I blame her. Um, I feel like, I feel like I was more intimidated by her than I was learning anything from her. Um, but the next year around in fifth grade, I got Miss Layton. And um, she just bumped up the level of strictness. But... She wasn't intimidating. She was more willing to work with you if you were willing to work with her. And uh, past that with nothing. No problems. Which puts me into sixth grade. Uh, my homeroom teacher was Miss Grindstaff. Uh, but this was the year that we started swapping. So it was Miss Grindstaff, Miss Ray, or Hines. Miss Hines, it wasn't Miss Ray. And um, Mr. Wilson. And basically, we would go to homeroom, and um, then we would go to Mr. Wilson for an hour, and then we would go to Miss Hines for an hour, and then we would go back to Miss um, Grindstaff, and then we would go to lunch, and then the rest of the day would be Miss Grindstaff. Um, the biggest thing I remember about sixth grade is we got new TVs. Every room got a DVD player, which I thought was awesome. Um, but that was the main, you know don't really remember a lot about sixth grade. I mean, I remember it. It's just nothing big happened. Nothing big worth telling. Um, in our uh, li computer library, or no, computer lab, um, we had a, a smart board. I've never seen a smart board ever again since then. <laughs> the smart board is like a huge board that a projector projects a picture up on, and you touch it, and it tells the computer as you see your, your fingers and mouse. It is the awesomest thing in the world. They're expensive. <laughs> um, but every room got a, a new TV, and uh, that was a big thing at the school. Um, one thing about that school was I noticed the technology was a lot bigger and better than it was in any other school I went to. Um, but then I'll tell the other schools in another video. Um, we had room calling where they could call to the room. Beep, 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 you know, whoever. It would beep, and then they would talk. Uh, but we also had little handsets. You pick the handset up, the office rings. There's no dial pad. It just pick it up, and the office rings. Um, that was pretty cool. Um, they had a lot of technology at that school. Um, but that would be Old Ford Elementary, my first six years of school. Kindergarten through sixth grade. And um, now, watch the next video for junior high.